before. Oh my God. You're lying. All of the darkest shades of every popular beauty brand as it states right now in 2023. How far have we come? How much further do we need to be? Nima, Let's do today's it. guest. I have Nima Tang. She has absolutely, fellow beauty vlogger, hi Nima. Hi. <laughs> you guys already know who Nima is. She's absolutely built a lot of her content and a lot of her brand on reviewing most makeup brands, darkest shade. I've really enjoyed seeing you create more conversations around the darkest anything in a brand because yeah. for a long time it was just rough. It was very rough. It was rough. Very disgusting actually. Kind of insulting. <laughs> yes. And I'm really proud of Nima, not only because of the conversations that she's had for other black women, but for all of the work that she's done to help make sure the industry has done better. But how many of those brands have actually done better? Okay, and who's reverted? Cause... And who's, who's, who's backtracked? <laughs> we gonna find out today. We went to Sephora and Ulta and bought most brands' darkest shades. And today we're gonna review them. Let's do it. Brands we wear. Brands, we coming for you <laughs> at this point. You should be scared. We should just like pick them at random. Yeah, let's do it. There's most brands foundation, like their darkest shade, like what they offer. And we're just gonna talk about them, review them. Oh, Lancome. 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 Two at a time? Okay. Okay, I've got house labs here. Do you use Lancome? Yeah. You do? Uh-huh. This is actually one of my favorite complexion brands. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. Is that the last one? This one, this is their darkest shade. Okay, so this is Lancome Tanido Ultra, one of my favorite foundations in the shade 540C. Is it the Karen Glow? Yeah, it is. I did. Oh, Karen Glow. Okay, I've never tried Karen Glow, yeah. so take that back. It's technically not my favorite foundation. <laughs> it's from the collection of one of my favorite foundations. Yeah. 530C, this is their darkest shade. It definitely has some warm reddish undertones, yeah. or I should say cool reddish undertones. This is what it looks like on me. It almost kind of disappears into my hand. Damn, $57, Damn. okay? That's a little expensive. <laughs> okay, so the shade. The shade yeah, range is not that great. 540C is their darkest shade. Yeah. It's described as a deep cool with red undertones. I could have already told you that. Wait a minute, where's 500? Where's my shade? Wait, there's no 500 shade. It just goes 510, 505, and then 455. Yeah. I'm confused. I'm assuming it might be because of the SPF, because this one does have SPF. Oh, it does? Only, but it's SPF 27. I don't care about SPF, SPF. and foundation. I don't it's like, why bother? I'm, I'm putting SPF around. on already. I'm looking at a shade range that definitely is like heavily in the medium category. Yeah. To me, it looks like they really invested in the medium category. Lancome overall, in my opinion, does like a pretty good job of like making sure darker skin people are included in overall in the brand and in the marketing. So I don't know what went wrong with this particular foundation. I think it's... I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna keep blaming the SPF because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I'm gonna say like a C plus. Yeah. I'm gonna what just say think? a C minus. We've got House Labs next. Everybody's talking about this foundation. Have you it's tried it yet? It's really nice. Do you like it? Yeah, I like Ooh, it. Oh, okay. Let me look up the specs. Oh. Whoa. Oh. I didn't know it had that many shades. Yeah. 590, is that the darkest one? That's the so. darkest one. Yeah. All right, What's deep it? with neutral bound. Okay. It's a little different for me to see the darkest shade be a neutral. neutral. It's yeah. usually a it's cool. It's usually red. Wow. I know, it's insane. It's gorgeous. That's impressive, I'm not gonna lie. It feels really nice. Yeah. It feels like skincare. Yeah. It feels really nice on the skin. It reminds me, have you tried the Makeup by Mario foundation? Yeah. I feel like these two are like barely on, like yeah. they're really on par. I could see why you'd say that. Yeah. Not sure if I see neutral though. Yeah. I definitely see cool. That definitely looks neutral on you. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So the range looks really good. It's 45 Zolas. Wow. I don't know what my shade is, but I'm not gonna lie, the dark and the deep dark category. I feel like they got both of them. They're pretty good. Yeah. Like medium starts at, that's like light medium, like 280. We're gonna count that as medium. Mm -hmm. And then it ends at like, oh, wow. wow, period. Yeah. I love to see it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm used to seeing like in a foundation launch, they usually have like three or four people yeah. in this and category. That's it. I definitely think this is like A worthy. Yeah, agreed. That's really impressive. Definitely Shout out to Oz Lab. Yes. Yeah, that was an A. <laughs> Not just for effort, and A. Like they did that. Killed it. Who's next? Makeup Forever, HG Skin. Oh, I liked HG Skin I though. I like this one too. Wow. I know. Shaking up 
it's a little watery. I like this formula, but the formula is a little watery. Yeah. So the shade is 4N78 HD Skin. Mm -hmm. Undetectable long wear foundation. $45 as well. And the shade that we've swatched is 4N78. It's described as ebony for very deep skin tones with neutral undertones. Yeah. I definitely see neutral. Yeah. This is what it looks like close up on my complexion and Nima's. For clarity, we should also tell you guys our undertones. My undertones are warm olive. Yeah, and I usually tend more red. I like that shade. That was a beautiful nice shade. shade yeah. And there's another shade before it. It's cool. So that's ebony. Cool ebony is right before that. Mm -hmm. So it's very deep with red undertones. Before that is espresso, deeper skin tones with neutral undertones. And these, oh, that's dark too. Yeah. Okay, rain. I think they're really trying to cover the undertones here. They are, yeah. as they should, because undertones were neglected for so long. So long. It's like they all thought we were the same color, I guess. Makeup Forever, I'm not gonna lie, they've been doing the work for a long time. Yeah, they've they always, have. I think, included a good range mm -hmm. of skin tones, because this is like a makeup artist-led brand. Yeah. And it shows. You no, know, I remember the first time I reviewed their uh, foundation, they actually reached out to me. They're like, how can we fix it? Because it was like really I gray on me. That. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Did they, they were they like receptive? I think they fixed, no, they were the ones that reached out. Most brands back then when I was like heavily reviewing the darker shades, they were like, stay off her radar. Like they did not want to be on my radar. And if they got caught Ooh. in my radar, I was instantly off PR list. Or I was wow. like, yeah, it was crazy. I'm not surprised it yeah. did the same thing to me. But Makeup Forever was one of ones that were like, yeah, how can we fix it? We want to set up a call immediately. And I was like, oh. Wow. Yeah. I mean. Shout out to I, Makeup Forever. I respect it. Yeah. I respect it. What would you rate given because the current range? The current range isn't the greatest. It's not the worst though. I've definitely seen worse, but they do have like a shade that's like literally perfection for me. So I'm a little biased. <laughs> Let's say B, like a B. Yeah, I'm gonna say B plus off of the fact that once again, I feel like I'm looking at a heavy medium yeah. category range, but I think Makeup Forever overall, like. They I do just, really good complexion Yeah, products. they do really good complexion products and I think they're good at representing dark skin people in general. Okay, let's see. Fancy. Fancy. Not it being dirty. I know, how, how come some, so many of these are like stained, Iris? Did something spill? No, they're just a mess. Like, at Ulta? Yeah, they were all dusty. I like, don't know what that is. No, Ooh. no. Ulta, get it together. This is clearly needs been to be sitting shaking. on the shelf for a while because yeah. it's radioactive. Not radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, spray tan undertone. <laughs> Ooh, that is not. It's not mixing. No, it's not mixing at all. But this is a thick foundation though, so I'm surprised it it's is. like, in a, I don't think it's yeah, gonna shake it out. Gone. This is this is probably like, I'm gonna have to leave it sitting on the side yeah. for a day. 498. It's 498. That's their darkest shade. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it looks very it gives similar. Me a very true, like not it's, neutral, but like it is um, neutral. Yeah, it gives me really true neutral. It does, but I was gonna say this is doing the same thing that the Lancome one is doing, where yeah. it actually looks more red, mm. which tells me that it's neutral. Yeah. Compared to my skin tone. Fenty Pro Filter is forty dollars, and this had what? How many shades did they have? Fifty, right? Whoa, wait. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Do they have more? 69. Oh, wow. Damn. Damn. They definitely added more. Fenty has, yeah, because I remember it being that high back then. Yeah. After me, there's still like 11 dark and deep shades. Yeah. I mean, Fenty <laughs> kind of had a lot of y'all on your necks and on your toes. Basically. So they're always going to get an A from me. What yeah. do you think? I agree. Miss Pat, Pat McGrath. McGrath. I remember when that foundation came out, I think it was like- This one looks radioactive too. Uh-oh. But at least this one's watery. Oh God. This one retails for $69. $69. I remember that was like, whoo, back okay. then when this first launched. $70 Yeah, $70. foundation? That's pretty high. Yeah. That's pretty high. This one is in the shade Deep 36. Whoa. I forgot how watery it is. <laughs> Proceed with caution. No, definitely. It's very watery. Wow. This is a true neutral. Yeah. This definitely looks like melted chocolate. Somehow they made this like a skin finish that mm -hmm. is long wearing. Yeah. I don't know how the hell they've done it. I don't know. But it's just good. It literally looks like your skin. skin. It does. So the shade range, there's 10 shades that go after mine. Mm -hmm. Every other undertone is different. So yeah. it's like neutral red, neutral yellow, neutral 
neutral red. I, I am mad at good. it. I think they did good. I think, I think I would give Pat good. an A too. Honestly. I think I definitely think Pat deserves an A. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Oh, makeup, makeup by, by Mario. Mario. Foundation of 2023. Huge launch, yeah. huge launch. And I just recently did a video on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous finish. The shade that we have is 30W, Surreal Skin. Another skin finish, medium-ish coverage. Mm -hmm. I don't really feel like it's that beautiful. It's a little thicker than I remember. I forgot, I don't know why it feels like mousse almost kind of. Yeah, I, I remember this. Yeah. It was very moussey. Yeah. Just, it feels like a skin, very lush. It just yeah. feels like it's packed with like nutrients. It probably ain't, I don't know. <laughs> that's what it, feels. it feels like a, fa a heavy cream a yeah. little bit. It's nice. Yeah. The blend on this is gorge. And when I went to his event, mm -hmm. they sent us home with the entire range. Oh, really? But it was like I didn't give the little them. mini ones. Yeah, yeah, thank God. Cause like when it be like, girl, hi, yeah. I'm not a freelancer. I don't need this. Okay. So it was nice. They gave me just enough. Yeah. But the range looked really good. Yep. It looks so good on you. Yeah. This is a nice foundation. 30W dark deep with warm undertone. This is probably the first one that I've seen where the range looks completely even. Oh, yeah. Like not too many light, not too many medium. Yeah. It's all it's roughly about the even. same. Yeah, and I usually don't see that. Yeah. It's very much so. You can see where they really invest heavily in one category yeah. over the other. And it's usually, lately it's usually been the medium. This is like pretty, it looks okay. like an even gradient. Give them a cute little A for keeping that same energy. I'm gonna say A for <laughs> ratio. Yeah. <laughs> he got ratio in the best way possible. Yeah. Right, let's do the next one. What is this? Ilia. Oh, I've never tried this brand, have you? Oh no. <gasps> no, okay, I'm, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up now. I'm looking it up. Is it the serum skin? Which one is I that? I haven't tried this before. I, I think I, no, I looked like that because um, I tried the drops and um, Oh. The shade range? It's not giving. It doesn't look that great. This is a pretty dark shade though, considering. Considering. Oh, it's really sear. Oh, it's. What? Girl, if you blend too much, you're not gonna see it. Oh. Whoa, that looks like, com that looks completely different on I you. I know, it's crazy. It's like not the super gap. sheer. Okay, now it actually, <laughs> look, now they look closer. Yeah. In color. I don't know, I feel like it's like, it's like moving, it's shifting shades. It's still red on me, but yeah. like really fiery on you. I wonder why it feels like it's shifting. Probably because it's a skincare mm. and like it probably has like that light reflecting. That's a nice in Mm-hmm. And the aloe. Mm -hmm. I blame the aloe. Who the hell told you to put aloe That's in crazy. there? crazy. It's 54 Zuolas, US. Yeah. Um, I just, it's just, okay. Yeah. It's a pretty, Dark shade, but that's not gonna cover. No, a I would lot never of wear this shade. Ever. That's not gonna cover a lot of people. And the range does not look that great. No, it's definitely a C. It looks like it's like oh, that's what it. That's why I was like, why does it look like that? It looks like it's all medium shades, mainly like medium and basically. Yeah, I'm looking at a because I don't even see like super super pale unless like maybe that one. Oh, actually, no, that kind of looks like pale ish. Is it pale? Oh, yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. Well, shout yeah. out to Mendoro. <laughs> And sable, <laughs> sable and Formentera. Those are very light shades. Yeah. Honestly, this just sealed your fate, Ilya. Yeah. This is definitely like a Yeah. Oof. I, I almost said D, maybe a C minus. Yeah. Cause the shade is darker. I, I feel like they just threw this in there for just extra shit and giggles. There's really no differentiation yeah. from SF14 to 15. There's a huge mm. difference. There's like yeah. Four more shades, Four shades that could be in between those two. Those two. Yeah. Last two shades. Yeah. So for that, I'm going to say, nah, no. you <laughs> tried, but not hard enough. This is not your best. No. C minus. Oh, I'm not supposed to look, but I looked. Oops. Kosas? Kosas. I have not tried Kosas, have you? No. Rich Deep Neutral 450. Okay. It has it, a bunch of skincare. Another wow. niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. acid. Peptide, squalene, pro vitamin B5, arnica, caffeine, artemisia flower. Okay. It's giving gray. Yep, SPF 25. Oh no. <laughs> is it giving gray or is it looking, is it because it's too neutral? Oh no. Mm. It's so funny because like on, I guess. Oh. Yeah, it looks, it looks really new, maybe too neutral yeah. to me. Yeah. The camera doesn't mm -hmm. give it the best mm -hmm. judgment. It looks, it looks great. It looks great. Well, this is what the deep dark category looks like on the website. I like when they show us 
the people live that live people because yeah. then you can really see who's wearing it and how are they wearing it. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, they kind of try and get away with like applying foundation differently on us. Like especially people with like my skin tone, if they know like a foundation is like a little bit too light, they'll put it like, they'll use it like concealer. Oh, yeah. And they'll, they'll just put it, it like sparingly. in the center of your face and they're like, okay, great, 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 you're good. They'll definitely cheat it. Yeah. Yeah, they'll definitely cheat it. Yeah. This one is $42. And I don't know, the shade finder on the Sephora website is not working. I'm trying to find like what my shade is because I don't know, I don't wear this foundation. But from what it looks like, I would probably be somewhere in the three, uh, no, sorry, that, wait, actually, yes. Maybe 380, maybe 400. I don't think the shade range is that great simply no. because there's way too many medium shades. The dark shades I feel like are fighting for their life. <laughs> They're more like one size fits three or four girls. Um, Is it's that a flex foundation. It, it looks like a flexible, yeah. flexible. That I feel like that's their code word mm -hmm. for like y'all can make it work. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. You got it. Y'all can both wear that. Just keep blending. Yeah, just keep blending. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a little bronzer? Is there a little powder? <laughs> this is probably average. Yeah. I think it's a C. Okay, NARS Light Reflecting. I have not tried this foundation. I heard it's good it's though. So good. Is it really? It's so good. If it's the last shade, I might steal it from you. Whoa. Why does it look like that? Because it's pretty watery. Oh. Sometimes I feel like the watery ones like settle. Mm. Shade looks gorge. It is Mallorca. The way these foundations are getting churned, I feel like it's the hottest thing. Yeah. And then two days later, there's something, there's that, there's something else. Like yeah. time just moves so fast. Ooh, it looks really pretty. Okay. Well, I mean, Nars is gonna give it to the girls when it comes to range, honey. Not just Wait the a minute. Of range. Wow, that's pretty okay. dark. I feel like we haven't seen something this dark since Haas Labs. Yeah. It's a, to me, they look almost identical. That's very concentrated, very rich. Nars keeps it cute, they keep it consistent. <laughs> The fact that there's nine shades yeah. that go after me. I think NARS has always been killing it though. They've always been killing it. Yeah. And I again see a bit of an even ratio. I do still think there's like a hair more medium shades mm -hmm. than there are dark and deep dark. But I think it's an A. Yeah, it's an A for me. I, I, so much of an A, I'm taking this one. Period. <laughs> And you should. Oh yeah, how much? This one was fifty dollars. Gucci. Gucci is a man. As a <laughs> What's that song by Brie Roman? Gucci. Gucci <laughs> wants a man. As a, I don't know. I, I every love Brie Every time I think of Gucci, I think of the dog that like that guy is always chasing. Gucci. Who? Yes. <laughs> what? A dog named Gucci. Yes, and he's always escaping. No, Gucci. Come on. Come back. I love this foundation, yeah. by the way. I didn't know that they ran like that dark. Yeah. Wow. I was shocked the first time I saw it. I was like, oh, okay, Gucci. It is the 24 hour breathable foundation, luminous matte, exactly, luminous matte. Yeah. And it's $69, so it's up there. It's pricey, it's right there with Pat. Very uh, bouncy, very, a little moussey, mm -hmm. a little on the thick side. The darkest shade, which is the one that we have, Deep 580C. Yeah. Oh my wow. God. Wow. I feel like they were like, we don't want to get dragged. Yeah. <laughs> There's another Gucci way. said, not this year, not, not today. Not this one. They month. did not want to get dragged. Look at that shade range. That shade range is really good. Yeah. I didn't know it was that. And the gradient yeah. is be beautiful. Yeah. Probably the prettiest gradient we've seen yeah. today. Yeah, agreed. Like, Absolutely. it's so even. So pretty. That's gorge. Pretty easy A, in my opinion. Yeah, agreed. Okay, what's next? We do a lot. I know. Born this Born way. This way. This is Coco. Is this one of the shades you worked on? I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> I don't think it, I feel like I wouldn't have picked Coco. I don't remember. Yeah. I have to look at my reviews. Ganache. ganache. I created Ganache. Yeah. So technically this isn't the darkest shade. No, it's not. No, Chestnut was the original darkest dark shade. shade. Okay. Can you believe that it literally stopped there at Chestnut? Girl. Yes, I believe it. Crazy. It was one of the foundations that sparked like my darkest shade series. Cause I was like, so you're trying to tell me I can't be born this way? Yeah. Cause I felt the same way. I was like, "What? so what are you saying? Exactly. <laughs> like, so, well, Coco ain't gonna cut it because this is not even the darkest shade. Yeah. Actually, the darkest shade might be in that box. Dang. This cause I still terrible. have my lunch box. So this is the darkest you can get in, in store. store. What? Yeah. I don't know when they did that. I didn't do all this work for nothing. <laughs> for y'all to erase my hard sweat blood here. Let me see if I got ganache in here. I do have ganache. Okay. So if you've been following me long enough, you already know where this is going. Ganache is born this way's 
darkest shade. And I know this isn't your match because yeah. of the, un the undertone, but it's a rich with neutral undertones. So that's, that's what ganache. ganache. Yeah. That's ganache on both of us. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still so proud of this launch. You should be. They all thank you. To be honest though, because I'm just like, nothing's ever gonna be enough for my brown <laughs> girls. I still feel like we could have added, I think it was amazing for what it was. Yeah. But looking back, I could have easily added maybe like five more shades. Yeah. Easily. Overall, I'm gonna say closer to a B plus because the darkest shade in store right now is Coco. Yeah, okay. so there's three other shades that are darker that are not available in store. For today's standards, people are doing numbers yeah. for foundation. And I think that the ratio is not that even. Yeah. As even as it really could be. Yeah, I'm gonna say B plus. I'm gonna say C plus. Just because I, I hate it. when brands don't put stuff in stores. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Danessa Myrick. That's a good one. Shout out to Queen Danessa. Okay, so this is the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. $34. Okay. This is pretty actually reasonable. Think the, yeah, pretty reasonable price. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it was a tube. Yeah. I haven't tried this one yet. I don't know if it's gonna be the best for oily because it's like you'll see. Oh, yeah. Really hydrating. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful though. Wow. Mm. I like the name Yummy, Yummy Skin. skin. Like that makes me want to use yeah. that product. Well, we have the darkest shade, 26 in, very deep skin with neutral undertones. Yes. It definitely leans neutral. It's hydrating. It's yeah. It's very glowy. Like look very at glowy. The ratio of all the shades are really even. Yeah. I don't and think it's refillable. Oh, that's oh wow, yeah. that's so smart. Yeah. What should we grade, Danessa Myricks? Gimme skin. I think since it's consistent across the board and the shade range seems pretty good, let's say B plus, maybe A. Yeah, I would say it's an A. Yeah. It cosmetics. <laughs> I feel well, like I have beef with cosmetics, yeah. but it's one sided. <laughs> Not one sided. Just, <laughs> they're just never gonna. I don't think they're ever gonna get it. Well, it's not a bad shade, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. SPF 40, it's their new glow CC, deep MCH. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, it, what time is it? Oh, this is not that dark, I can already tell. Yeah. It's too close to my complexion. This is their darker shade? That's not really comparable to what we've tried today. No. That's not even it close. It kind of reminds me of like the Coco in two, two Yeah. Days. Definitely giving that. This is like the early 2000s acceptable yeah. token dark shade. <laughs> Not token. Pretty much. And I want to see. How much is it? Yeah. And I what the see. range looks like. Is this the last one? What is that one called? The nude glow? Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh. Pretty <laughs> even ratio. Surprising. Yeah. Like it's it's like quick to the point. Yeah. It's about it's like $47. It's, oh, that's, wow. That's expensive. Yeah. For like basically a tinted moisturizer? $47 yeah. is a little. Pretty up there. It's a C minus. Yeah. It's average. It's average. Yeah, C. What's next? Ooh. Oh, another. Another one. <laughs> Tarts. This is the face tape foundation. I never tried face tape no. foundation, did you? No. You know what's crazy? Before. Oh my God. You're lying. That's why there was no black people on the PR, on the trip. I was about to give them a compliment. <laughs> I was about to say something positive about this brand. What I was going to say, just pretending we didn't see this. What I was gonna say is before the Shape Tape fiasco, the first one, yeah. the first generation Shape Tape fiasco, their shade range was not that bad. It was definitely not as bad as It Cosmetics. Yeah. It was okay, but it wasn't the worst. But this sealed their fate. Damn. <laughs> this is bad. This don't even look like this would match me. It's really olive -y, I can tell you that. Right off the bat, it looks real olive. What the? That's crazy. Have they learned nothing? I'm confused. I don't even know why I'm watching this. This can't be their last shade. Are they doing this on there, purpose? Wasn't there some people of color on the trip? It's orange. It's terrible. It's pretty orange. It looks like mustard. Oh, that's the darkest in store. It's $40 mm -hmm. and the darkest shade is 61H 61. 61 Espresso. What is this that? This is 53G Deep Golden. That explains a lot. <laughs> Cause I was very concerned and yeah. wildly offended. 
But so 53, there's, okay, there's a number of shades after 53. Whew, okay. Yeah, their golden is way it's too golden. Orange. It it's orange. It looks like mustard. It's way too golden. It's way too yellow. It looks like an artificial dark color. It's way it too like, warm. It looks like dipping sauce from, what's it called? Chick-fil-A. Yeah, it's real orange. Also, it's points a lot of off medium for shades. all the shades that are not in store, because it's a crap ton. There's a lot after. This was the darkest shade in store yeah. in Ulta. And there's definitely a good amount of shades that come after, so unacceptable. Yeah. I'm gonna give Tarte a C. Okay, same. Minus C. Moving on. What the? Confused. Confusion. Charlotte. Charlotte. All right, Charlotte, now listen. I love Charlotte Tilbury, but it's come to my recent findings, they have not been as, yeah, they've been doing this. Yeah. Now the bo the bottle is frosted, so let me let me, <laughs> let, let me let me try it first. I feel like Charlotte used to put more effort into their complexion category. Well, not their complexion category, but just their products in general. Yeah. A little bit more effort. Forty nine dollars. It's really red, but on the website it's described as neutral. Try again. No. Mm -mm. And not with this range at all. The range this is, is not it. No, like I just feel like when people hear inclusive, they think you're summer tan shade. Yeah, on a white person. Yeah, like this is not. Uh uh. And I'm even docking points because if you tell me something's neutral, it better look neutral. I still love Charlotte, but absolutely not. This is like a. No. Oh, the swatches make it look better. I'm not gonna lie, the swatches do The swatches do, look do better. make it look better, but like. Based on these swatches, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say C plus. Okay. I'm gonna say it's a, it's close. Like I see, I think they tried, yeah. but. No. Mm -mm. Let me give it a C. And I think we have one more left. This is the one size turn of the base. I have not tried this, but I'm obsessed with the powder foundation. If you have not tried it, you should. And, oh, it's a BB cream. Oh, okay. <sighs> We need something darker. Yeah. I definitely would like to see something darker. It's actually not that far from my own complexion, which yeah. says a lot. The darkest shade, which is the one we have now, mm -hmm. is Deep 3 Neutral. Yeah. I see more neutral cool. Mm -hmm. looks, it definitely looks a little bit more red to me. Yeah. Decent ratio. I'm actually gonna give Turn of the Base a B minus. I'm gonna give it a B. So that was it. That's Our it. foundation rundown. Yes. 2023, the darkest shade of um, damn near every brand. Yep. I feel like we should do a best and worst. Okay. Best to me, I'm gonna say Gucci. Gucci. I'm gonna say Gucci, yeah. Gucci! Gucci! I'm gonna say Gucci, yeah. I think Gucci ate. I don't know, that NARS foundation's on my mind. I mean, it is good. Oh, I'm gonna have to say NARS. It is good. Best and average? Best and average. I'm gonna say Yummy Skin from Danessa. Yeah, I agree, yep. And then, worst of the worst. I would say Ilya. Ilya. Because the dark shades they did have didn't look like real wearable shades. Yeah. It looked, like you said, gray. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go with Tarte, because come on now, it's 2023, put the shades in store. If it's, unless it's Sephora, I mean, it is Ulta's fault, but still. True. It is what it is. It technically is not their, it's technically not their fault. Yeah. But, I mean, you did give me orange, so like, <laughs> what the hell is this? Shouldn't be shades that are not available in store. Agreed. I, that's Hard like pass. one of my biggest pet peeves. That's I rude. Will never not, like I will just not buy it. I'm just gonna buy it. I wouldn't whatever. buy it. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. Yeah. And also our experience is unique as beauty bloggers because most of the time we don't have to do that. Exactly. We, we get the product. Yeah. So like, I wouldn't even know, like what is the average consumer's, you know, experience? That yeah. matters to me, not yeah. as like, yeah, I can get the product for free from the brand, but I wanna know how are people, like how is my audience gonna have access yeah. to it? And if it's not Are they gonna struggle? Is it gonna take them three weeks to get it? Exactly. they have to buy it online? Yeah, exactly. So I agree. I mean, we definitely have more pop. The good thing is we have more good ones. Yeah. Than we do, like, wow, that's ones. actually really shocking. I, I'm shocked too. Like wow. I'm shocked too at our pile. Mm -hmm. I think we've absolutely improved a lot in oh, beauty. Yeah. Like so tremendously, yes. but there's still brands that it's like, okay, you're trying it. <laughs> If you're not a small startup brand, yeah. that's like a whole separate different category. If you're like a big brand, you kind of have like you no, have no excuse. excuse. You kind of Zero don't. excuses. Like at that point, it's intentional. Yeah. So I will continue to intentionally spend my hard earned American Zoolas on brands that intentionally include me. Both 
with your formulas and in your trips and opportunities marketing. and marketing campaigns. Like, are you speaking to me as a customer? Mm -hmm. 100%. That was it. Thank you, Nima, for coming to my Thank channel for the for first time. Me. I feel like this is a long time coming. Go <laughs> ahead and check out her channel and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Jigga, 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 jigga. Jigga, 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 jigga